Good morning, welcome to BOTB headquarters in South West London. My name is Rupert Gott, Commercial Director. We are here this morning to judge um, competition week six, uh, which ran from uh, the 8th of February to the 14th. Um, before we do that, I'd like to just say that all the competition data for this morning's competition has already been passed to uh, the independent competition auditors, Wilkins Kennedy. However, I'd also like to say congratulations once again to Chris Hutchings um, from Clanethley in Southern Wales. He won the um, always awesome and very popular Aston Martin V8 Vantage, plus 10,000 quid. He was obviously over the moon, however, a little bit upset that we brought uh, the car, demonstration car to him in uh, English rugby colours rather than Welsh. But moving on, let's meet uh, today's judges. Our first judge today is um, Sir Matthew Ray. Morning. Morning, my name is Matthew Ray. I've affiliated in multiple counties across England and have refereed from grassroots through to professional academies. Thank you. And our second judge is Mr. Trevor Weaver. Morning, Trevor. Morning. Good morning, I'm Trevor Weaver. I've been refereeing for over 25 years, probably refereed or officiated in over a thousand games by now. I will referee currently on the AFC and the SAL leagues as well as Chelsea Academy. Thank you. And our third judge today is Mr. Gareth Deneen. Good morning, Gareth. Good morning, my name is Gareth Deneen. I'm a senior county referee and I also appoint referees to various competitions throughout the, the London area. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the uh, solicitor for today's competition is Mr. Joe Tompkins. I'm Joe Tompkins, I'm a solicitor on Sir Law, and I'm here to oversee proceedings today. Okay, so judges, um, if you could please um, take a few moments to consider the picture and um, place across where you believe, in your professional opinion, the centre of the ball uh, should be. Um, and we'll then ask you to briefly justify our decisions for coming together um, on a central screen to form a panel decision. Thank you. Okay, thank you judges. Okay, Gareth, if you could just uh, very briefly um, discuss your positioning there, thank you. Right, ball I think is right above these two players, their eyes are looking right upwards, uh, so virtually above themselves. I think it's uh, above the number nine player, uh, his eyes are indeed looking as high up as he can do. Uh, they're both, the ball's just about to come down, they're both challenging for it, they're just getting the right position to head it. Probably the red player is going to uh, win the header. Um, so I think it's above the number nine, um, and uh, right above him, and that's where I put the cross. Thank you, and Trevor, in your position there. Yes, <coughs> um, I agree actually with uh, Gareth there that uh, I believe that Red's going to win it. He's pushing down on the nine player. Nine is obviously fending the red player off of his arm. So I'm going on the assumption that the ball is going to just pass over number nine's head. Um, and so I've positioned my mark there, I'm going on that. Okay, thank you Trevor. And finally, Matthew. I definitely follow the same line of thought as my colleagues there. I do think the ball, looking at the eyes of the blue number nine, is above him. Um, so it's all about height for me. I think you can see that they're both wrestling for a bit of leverage here, so the ball isn't imminently about to land on anyone's head. And looking at the red player's eyes, I've aligned that projection, and that's why I've placed the ball where I have done. Thank you, Matthew. Okay, well, uh, thank you, judges. Um, we're all uh, fairly well aligned there, but please now, could you come together on the central screen um, to come to a panel decision? Thank you. Well, I'll put my mark back up. Uh, you were right, Bobby's quick. Yeah, about yeah there. That, wasn't it? It was about. Yeah, well, you're, right. the, you're slightly to the right than, than that yeah. yourself. Can we have a look at the blue player's eyes? Yeah, I mean, that is. He's looking at the ball, I think. Okay, where we're looking across now, I think very vertically, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, I think that cross is a little bit too far to the right for that. Yeah, but then if we look on, yeah, I can't reach that yeah. one. So Matt will have to do that. Hmm. Okay, so we I just do think I think he's still in view of the ball. Yeah. So he hasn't gone over. So you I don't to... think it's too far past him. I think it's I think it's not going well, to land with him. That... I would agree. <coughs> That's... I think it's above. How's that? I've moved it slightly to the left. Can we go back on his eyes? I, st I still think that's that angle. Right. I, I would but go. I would actually go absolutely vertical. Personally. Yeah, I, well, you're that's, that's where I'm, I'm, 
still still in the mind so, that this so, ball's going over number nine. So you you so you're saying just a there. touch again, yes please. I'll be happy with that as well. Yeah. And then it's a question of height. Does it agree Which, with this red player? Well that's see that's where I would taken him in, I would say. Is he it looking could quite a wood as well as yeah, I was saying, yeah. yeah. But then it's going over, if, if, if you take it's your eyes to where well, you had it, Trevor, which is the yeah. right, it's gone over the blue player and he's not looking at it, and he is looking at it, yeah. so it's got to be... Well, I mean, perhaps high. it's higher then, if, 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 his, if this red player's eyes are looking quite upwards, well, if I do, that must that mean that the ball yeah. is a little bit higher. Can we just come away from, take the magnifying way just to yeah. not distort the image? Um, we're talking. Do you think? A little bit further up now. Yeah. As much as that. Mm. Maybe not as much. We'll try. We can, we can, yeah, we can always come back down. Have a look at his eyes again. I don't want to see what you think that one is. That looks pretty good to me. Can I? Yeah. Can you move the cursor onto his eyes, please? Thank you. That looks good for his eyes. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think it's vertically above number nine. Yeah, and this this red player. That's pretty. I mean, yeah. I, I think, think we've got in the right vertical. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, it's, it's the. It's just. It's, it's the height. Yeah. yeah. How how far are we? In, it's in context, it's correct horizontally. So we reckon that this way we got it the right way. Yeah. yeah. So it's, yeah. it's above him. Yeah. So it's now up, up or down a touch. I don't really. I want to go much different I'm, from that. I don't think. I don't think I'd want to come low because I don't no, think no. they're in a position where they're about. If it's lower, ball. his eyes don't match yeah. the height. Oh. All right. It's right above him. Well, if we all agree, don't no. oh, leave it where it is. Yeah. yeah. I don't want to change it for the sake of change. No, no, I think no. I'm very happy with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Great. Thank you. Okay, judges will have you there. We'll uh, lock those coordinates in the database. Okay, so the pixel selected 1411586. That's 1411586. Pixel selected at 1411586. These coordinates now be passed to independent auditors Wilkins Kennedy to calculate the winning of the competition. Well, um, it's Monday, Monday morning. Tomorrow, you know what Tuesday is. We will be out trying to find you wherever you are, um, our next winner. Um, wishing you all the very best of luck. Thank you.